Hey guys, Grady's mom here. I wanted to do a master bedroom tour along with a master bathroom and my closet tour. Just please keep in mind that I moved in a little bit less than a week ago today. So obviously everything is not the exact way that I want it and I will point those things out. But I think for being here for, um, again, just one week, I think we are doing pretty well. Now the master bedroom, my bedroom, is the first room that we worked on just because um, it's to me one of the most important rooms in the house beside the kitchen because to me it's like a tranquil place where you go to sleep at night and I mean I personally just want my bedroom to be really relaxing. So here we are standing in the door and you walk into my beautiful bed which I'm absolutely obsessed with. This bed will probably be the bed that I die in because I plan to have it for the rest of my life. I love it that much. So it's just a really pretty like whitewashed sort of like an antique -y, um ivory color with some gray swirls and just really, really pretty and fabulous detail. And this comforter just couldn't match any more perfect. I got it at Pottery Barn. It's a Victoria print. So the headboard is just stunning with these beautiful metal rivets. And again, I just love the detail. So I got the bedroom um, set, which is the bed with the two nightstands and the beautiful dresser. So again, I'm just going to start here from the beginning. You walk in and you see the bed. And then over this way, um, my husband put um, our TV on the wall. It is a 40-inch flat screen. And then we just have a floating shelf that my husband put up. My husband's amazing with all of this um, household stuff and he put the cable box right on top so I really like the look of it how there's no wires and it's a perfect view from bed and then to the left when you walk in is our beautiful dresser with these um, really pretty wall pieces that I actually found at home goods for 30 bucks each and they're on a canvas and the paint is raised and they're sort of like a hot air balloon theme. It's very, to me, very like Parisian. I'm obsessed with Paris um, and it just for some reason caught my eye as like sort of a Parisian design. So I just have two of those on each side of the dresser. I have just a little canvas um, storage bin here and I just keep some overflow towels in there. I have my cute little wallflower on the wall and we did do two colors of paint in here. Three walls we did um, in this lighter color, and then the wall against um, where the windows and the bed are, we actually did a darker color. So it's hard maybe to see the contrast, but they're definitely, as you can see right here, two different colors. So here is my dresser. Hi, guys. And um, this is just my husband's side here, and then my side here. And I just have just my perfumes and... Um, my lotions and just things that I thought look really pretty and I wanted to display them. I have my um, candle here and I think this is the uh, bergamot wood scent or maybe it's mahogany. Um, I don't even know. I forgot. One of the two scents. Yes, it's bergamot woods, which I love. It's like a very sophisticated scent. And again, just beautiful detail on this dresser. I just couldn't love it any more than I do. It's just fabulous. So that is all really that's going on on this side. Um, I don't like things to be cluttered. I like things to be spread out and spaced out and just simple. Um, this is my husband's nightstand here. Just pretty basic, a lamp, some tissues, and just TV remotes. And both windows, um, we just use like a black uh, wrought iron curtain rod. And then these curtains I absolutely love. They are like a really light... Um, material and they're sort of very airy and they really have this pretty like embroidery which is like raised um, it's like a floral print which is just very very simple and I think really elegant so I did do the white since I wanted it to pop against the darker wall and then again our beautiful bed and my pillow which was given to me as a Christmas gift a couple years ago from one of my friends in New York who was also a bridesmaid in my wedding. She knows I love Paris so she got that I believe off Etsy. And then my little nightstand here, just some Kleenex, my alarm clock, a monitor, a lamp, um, my phone, a little EOS, and then just my Soap and Glory 
lotion before bed. Again, same curtain here. Um, I do want to put something here on this wall, guys. I just haven't found the perfect piece, and I'm super picky about um, how I want this whole bedroom to flow. So I will get a piece for there eventually. I'm looking for something sort of iron-ish. And then on this wall here, which is to the right of my door, I actually have this beautiful trunk that I purchased um, a long time ago when I was just a single girl um, from Pier 1. And in there I just keep my sheets and linens um, for my room. And then above that I put, um, or had my husband put I should say, this beautiful piece which is all metal that I got a long time ago at Pier 1. Um, and then on each side I just have these leaf metal, um, they're actually candle holders, but I just haven't find the, found the perfect candle yet for them. I'm thinking maybe going with a tall candle, but I'm not sure yet. So that is still a work in progress. I thought it looked super cute with the trunk. And then again, just an overview from the side that I'm standing on. And then we're going to move into the master bathroom. Now this bathroom um, has to be painted. Um, I'm thinking of possibly either going with the same colors that are in my bedroom because we have paint left over and if not I will probably do some kind of a blue color. So just the sink here, it's not a double sink, we actually chose to go with a single sink. However it is the larger version so it's a large sink with plenty of storage and just your basics on top, just soap, toothpaste, all that fun stuff, nothing too exciting there. And then and my toilet, I just have um, just a basket of the items that I personally use the most. I have some overflow towels in there. And then a cute little sunny little window right above the toilet. And then my shower curtain matches my bedspread. And then just my towel rack here. Okay guys, so I gotta be quick, my battery's gonna die. Um, so here I am in the entry of my walk-in closet. Um, it's a really, really good size. So my husband's clothes are all over on that side. And then he was nice enough to let me have the rest of the closet. So I just, I'm not going to be too in-depth. Um, if you guys want to see a separate closet video, I'll be happy to do that for you. Um, so I just sort of, I didn't color coordinate. I just sort of did like my, some of my scarves here. I did um, like tank tops, anything without sleeves in this section and then I'm kind of moved on to short sleeve shirts, three quarter length shirts, long sleeve shirts, button up shirts, heavier things like sweaters and hoodies. And then I just put my non jean pants that are not jeans. So just like dress pants, um, leggings, I had a bunch of different leggings here. Um, and a lot of the leggings, I have like two or three pairs on one hanger just to save a little bit of space. Just some long skirts and then I have all my jeans. So I hang my jeans two ways. I have my jeans that I wear less just hung kind of folded in half the long way. And then my jeans that I wear more, I'll show you guys how I, my jeans that I wear more I folded differently or I hung differently should I say. Um, why I did that I don't know. I think it just makes it easier for me to tell which ones I tend to reach for more. So. The ones I wear less, again, I fold it in half, and then the ones I wear more, I kind of hung differently. And then I have some shorts here that I put all in hangers, and then I just have some rompers, some beach cover-ups, and then just some dresses here, and then I have um, more dresses, and then I have my um, leather coat, and then I have my winter coat, which I probably won't wear too much here, and then up on the top rack... That's just a pile of jeans I have to either donate, um, I'm probably going to actually donate them um, if I don't sell them just because I never wear them and there's nothing wrong with them. I just have some candles in there, that little box there, I just have a couple fuel cells and some Aiden and I blankets. And then on the other top shelf here I just have um, some random bags, handbags, diaper bags in that big bag right here I have um, some B bags, some Super Bs, and then my travel bags like my Superstore bags, and then I have my um, jewelry mirror that some of you guys have seen. I just have my uh, Michael Kors bag hanging here because I didn't want to put it up there so it would get smushed 
in this jewelry cabinet, I just have most of my necklaces, um, just costume necklaces, a couple hair, um, like a couple of my um, headbands from Anthropology, but mainly this is just for my necklaces here, guys. So I love this piece. I love that it's a mirror and it also holds jewelry. And then here is the piece that some of you may have seen in my Ikea vlog. I got this black piece um, of furniture at Ikea. I love it. And then on top, I just have uh, my Tory Burch jewelry box and inside has tons and tons and tons of like perfume and beauty samples and then on the first shelf I have my bracelet rack with most of my bracelets I haven't unpacked everything yet but I'm getting there so these are the ones that I already had had on there um and just some random things my Tory Burch glasses um a little candle that I love that I thought was cute and I wanted to sh display it um just some body sprays and you know just things like that that I'm using right now and then here, I'm going to put all my clutches. I've only located one so far. I have about five of them, so I'm going to put the rest of my clutches on here. And I have no clue yet what I'm going to do with the bottom. Again, this whole closet is a work in progress, guys. I might paint in here. Um, I don't know. And then on the bottom, I just have some of my shoes. Um, there's actually quite a few pairs missing. Usually, the line goes all the way down to where those sparkly boots are. I definitely have um, probably a handful of pairs of shoes downstairs. I actually purged a lot of my clothing before we moved from New York down here. And then I actually purged a little bit again before we moved from um, our apartment that was temporary to here. So um, I'm really glad I purged because a lot of the stuff that I gave away or donated, I just didn't wear it. So it's like, what's the point of having it? Um, I really have cut my, clo my, my closet or my clothing collection down just to things that I truly wear or I can see myself wearing, if that makes sense. So I'm really happy that everything fits right on this really long bar, and I actually have a little bit of room to spare. So I definitely have to pick up some new pieces for winter. Um, I want to get maybe a couple sweaters and maybe like just one more pair of leggings in, you know, something different, and then maybe just a couple pairs of shoes. So that is really it. I'm really kind of a minimalist. I don't need tons and tons of things. Um, when I was younger, I had like triple amount of clothes, and I just don't need that anymore. I'm really happy with the size of my um, clothing collection and my shoe collection. I just don't need um, any more than what I really have. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see separate, more in-depth videos of anything in this video, just comment down below and let me know. I have a running list of all the requests that I get, and if I get enough interest, I will definitely do more videos that break down specific things if you guys want to see them. I hope you guys all have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Just wanted to show you guys the ceiling fan that we picked out for our master bedroom. Obviously, it looks a lot better in real life, but it's sort of like a dark, dark um, brown, almost black um, wood. And it sort of has, to me, like a little teeny bit of like vintage look, even though it's a fan. And it has a light, which is great because our bedroom needs more light at night. And that is going to go right there where that little white circle is above the bed. So my husband, this is probably his next project this week. So that will go um, into the master, and I think it's going to give a really nice touch. And obviously, it's going to be great because we can put the windows open. We can leave the windows open in the night time and have a nice breeze. So I just wanted to share with you guys the fan that we picked out. I absolutely love it.